Updates on the Activision Blizzard deal. Now, there are a lot of updates that have happened since we've been gone for two weeks, and this shit changes on a bi-daily fucking basis. So I could condense this, this down to a couple of the more main and more recent points, Mr. Black, just so that we don't all fall asleep, myself included. Although, as you can hear, given the amount of caffeine in my system, I'm not entirely sure I could fall asleep right now, even if I wanted to. Uh, the Activision Blizzard deal never stops being ridiculous. The latest in the midst of many moves by Microsoft to try to appease regulators. We've talked about some of them on the podcast a couple weeks ago. Uh, trying to show that they're making a reasonably good, uh, good faith effort. And if this goes through, you know, they're not just going to bottle everything up. Uh, as we talked about before, like the 10 year deals they want to sign to put Call of Duty and stuff on other platforms going forward, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, despite all that. Uh, Sony's Jim Ryan came out of the woodwork and dropped a banger, and this is a quote. But before I say the quote, I'll say, I'll say that the quote came right after this happened. This comes almost immediately after Microsoft confirmed that they put an offer to have Call of Duty be allowed to be put on PlayStation Plus at the same time and for the same length of time as they have it on Game Pass. So they were literally letting, willing to let Sony put it on their live service, their version of Game Pass, same amount of time, at the same time, so day and date, start and end, for 10 years after this merger goes through. Which is, which is as, as one Activision uh, Blizzard, uh, it was an Activision specifically, uh, employee said on Twitter, I think it was maybe yesterday, this is a deal that not even if we weren't being bought by Microsoft, this would never happen. We would never offer this to, we would never offer this to Sony. Uh, and so why, why Sony is being so fucking, like, so hard-nosed about this is, it makes no sense. And then they quoted this quote, where they said, you know, well, the, we, we all know why, and this is it here. So, Jim Ryan, who's the head up o over there at uh, Sony PlayStation Division, old Jimmy Boy came out and said, I don't want a Call of Duty deal. I just want to block the acquisition. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's being truthful. There it is. I mean, we already knew that this was what we, we I mean, given how, given how petty they've been for like the last, like, fucking four months, we already knew. But now he done said the, the quiet part out loud, Mr. Black. And part of me wonders if that's actually going to be detrimental. It might. I'm wondering if the regulators, you know, that have been, you know, they, they've been working with and whatnot, and he said that shit out loud, but he's, so he's saying, so like the regulators have to look at that and say, okay, so there's nothing Microsoft can do in your estimation that could make this, you know, be okay for you. Nothing. And so he's not even interested in trying, which might be, with all the other evidence that they're going to be dragging out of Sony here, where they have to show their own financial sheets and shit, which I can't wait to hear about how all that comes, because we're going to get a bunch more information, theoretically, should it come public. Um, that, yeah, that might, that might actually come back to bite him in the ass, saying that stuff. Well, I think, I think at the end of the day, the smart people are really going to know, and I think most people already know what this is, and... Um, let's not get it twisted. He does care about Call of Duty. Oh, but yeah. he doesn't. He doesn't care to make a deal for Call of Duty to go to make this go through because he understands that after ten years, Sony's fucked when it comes to Call of Duty. So that's why he has no interest at all in working out a Call of Duty deal because. There is no deal that can remedy this. He needs to make it so that Microsoft can't go through with this. And if he does, if it, if it goes through, whether it's a ten-year deal, a no ten-year deal, a five-year deal, uh, he he understands that the the ramifications of not having Call of Duty on your console. And so, yeah, he doesn't want to do a deal with Call of Duty. Because he knows if he does a deal for Call of Duty, the acquisition is going to happen. He doesn't want the acquisition to happen. He doesn't want the acquisition to happen because he doesn't want them to have Call of Duty. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I do. Like, like you said, you know, I, I appreciate the honesty, Jim. At least you finally came out and said it. 
I would I would have respected it more if it was the first thing that came out of his mouth and not I'm gonna go have lunch with the fucking regulators in Europe and like do all this whatever the fuck behind and not really talk much about it and then like after all this has come up and it looks like it's the eleventh hour and we're getting desperate and Microsoft just made you the craziest deal arguably in the history of the Call of Duty franchise and you're going no no I don't want I just want to stop the acquisition entirely he could have just said you know what I think would have been better though. Yeah, like for the sake of the for the sake of strategy on his behalf is to just say I'm not interested in the Call of Duty deal and left the rest up to the fucking imagination. He didn't need to say Yeah, the second part. The second part. It's like I just want to block the acquisition. I just want to block it. Fuck him. That's what's gonna get him in hot water if anything yeah. happened because of that quote. Like he could have just left it at I'm not interested in yeah. making a deal for Call of Duty. And yeah, then, had, like, and then at, at home, people might be thinking that, but at least you didn't say the shit out loud. Yeah. But he done yeah. said it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's just dumb. That that probably wasn't the smartest thing to say, <laughs> but uh, you know, maybe he knows something that we don't know. Couldn't. I'm tell sure you. he knows several things that we that That's we true. don't know. That that is true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not sure this is going to help the case at all. Um, <laughs> even though everybody already knows exactly this is how you feel, mm -hmm. but to actually say it out loud is two totally different things. You know, there's a lot of things that I, I think about and that I would like to say, but I'm not going to say it because there's ramifications for saying things, and there's a time and place. You know, he could have at least waited until all of this was over, and then said, you know what? To be honest. I didn't really give a fuck about Call of Duty. <laughs> I just didn't want them to have it. When it was all said and done. That's something you say after everything is out of the way, right? Yeah. Like, you wait. Yeah. Exactly. You drop that shit afterwards. It's like it's like O.J. Simpson, right? It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> you shut your mouth, and then after you get away with it, you, you come up with a book. It's that's called, called if, like, I, if I Did It. If, if I Did It. <laughs> this, this is how I would do it. So it's like, bro. I, I gotta be honest. I think like, that bro. might be the craziest shit anyone's ever fucking done in North American history. Uh, is to get nuts. away, is to do that shit, get acquitted, and, and then write knew. the book if everybody I had done knew. it. Yeah, bro. Like, bro. Everybody, everybody knew. It was like a meme for the longest <laughs> time before memes were memes. And then this motherfucker came out a book if I did it. You, man. Bruh. Man. It made, it made millions. Man, like fucking hell, crazy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, old Jim Ryan said the quiet they, part loud. Then they put him. Then they 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 uh, they arrest him and, and took him to jail. But they got him on some memorabilia dump. Yeah, shit. it was, mem so yeah, it was like, memorabilia shit. They're like they're like fuck. You know, we can't we can't go and retrial him. <laughs> like he he won the case, so that's over. But this dumb motherfucker broke into some place to steal his own shit. And, Man, uh, imagine. and they're like, okay, we're going to throw the book at him for this because like, you like know, we can get him on this one easy, we can get him on this one. Crazy. Like everyone knew we get it. Like he could, he couldn't just let it be. No. He couldn't just leave it, leave it lying. I mean, bro, when you get away with, when you get away with murder, right? Uh, you probably just think you're invincible, right? Was OJ, was OJ shit, OJ shit was like early nineties, but was like, like 90s. Yeah. But like that's early days DNA, so I guess we didn't quite have the shit yeah, available sure. to wrap that up. I remember watching the trial in my grandfather's room. Uh at that point he was he was uh he was quite ill. He was bedridden. Well, not entirely bedridden, but he spent most of his time in bed. And so like it, like, like the the three things or the four things that we watched together on television, OJ Simpson <laughs> Uh, was it O.J. Simpson? The Price is Right. Mm. Uh, awesome. uh, various PBS cooking shows, uh, and then occasionally the Blue Jays because they were actually good in the '90s. You know, we had we had the, you know they had uh, Joe Carter back mm. in the in the '90s, uh, and then after he left, uh, they just never looked back. I, that's a lie. What was it like five years ago? They had a flash in the pan where everyone was like, "Oh my god, is it gonna happen?" And then they blew, they literally fucking they exploded. It. They <laughs> and they traded every single fucking player away. And now we're down bad again. It's just the, it's the plight of, it's the same in Toronto, like the Raptors. We had like the championship team. Kawhi was there for a year. We win the championship. Everyone's losing their mind. Kawhi's like, peace, deuces. I'm the fuck out of here. Who wants to spend winners in fucking, fucking Canada? And then everything just fell apart. And now we're down bad all over again. It's, it's the worst. Canadian sports, man. It's tough. It's tough out here. Oh,